quarterback situation, who's number one? Well, we're not going to say that right now because that'd be a hell of a scoop for your station. <laughs> but uh, we're going to go ahead and play this thing out. I think it's, it's coming to a head here, and as soon as we're really solid, we're going to make the announcement. Where are you at as far as that decision after the scrimmage and into this week's practice before the next one? Oh, we're right there. We're right where we need to be. I think uh, once we get through Thursday and Saturday, we should have some be able to answer some questions. What has Matt done since the injury and since coming back in the scrimmage and into practice that has impressed you? Well, now that's a fantastic question you just asked right there. Just the retaining the information, not playing for a year, uh, going through it like you're going to be the starting quarterback, you get hurt in the first game. The information that he's retained has been impressive. Is his timing with the guys as where it should be by now? No, you no, uh-uh. Yeah. You've got to be able to take all the reps, and that's not what you're going to have in a, a quarterback when you're looking at a numerous quarterbacks to see who the guy is. Uh, that's something that's going to be developed over the summers summer hours when there's no coaches around and guys just wanting to be good. Does that mean James is ahead of him right now because of that? That's a nice way to ask that question. The answer is no. I'm not going to say he's ahead of him, but we're going to wait and see Thursday and Saturday how those guys play along with Clayton. Do you want to have a guy named coming out of spring ball? Definitely. Definitely. Why? Why is that so important? Because it's important for the football team to know who's going to lead them. And that's the, that's the guy that's going to lead you in the summertime. Um, in terms of spring practice, how important is this from that standpoint to find out who that guy is going to be? Oh, I think it's very important. I mean, the, all the quarterbacks are extension of the coaching staff, but the starting quarterback is a really an extension of the coaching staff. And uh, I think especially in the type of offense that we run where it's the quarterback matters, it's not a – we love our running backs, but they're not, they're not the guy that's going to dictate the flow of the season. I think it's really important that the team knows – who's going to be the guy back there. Is it between those two guys or has Clayton had a shot at this thing? Clayton is in the middle of this thing. Have you guys been at practice? That's why I'm asking. You guys need to watch some practice. <laughs> Perfect. Is it, you knew it was going to be like this coming in with all the quarterbacks. Do you like it as a head coach to have, have it like this, or would you just have rather have one guy going in? I'd rather have one. <laughs> a couple of sleepless nights for you? No. I'd rather have one, though. Elsewhere on the team, position battles, all over the place. Defensively, obviously, there were some issues as far as stopping things last year. Is it better this year at this point? I think it's better that everybody understands about the, the pace of practice. They, under, they have a better feel for their coaches going into their second year, except for obviously, you know, Coach Ward. But I think even him, he's making a huge impression on our defense early, and I think the guys are really starting to get a great feel for him. And for you, a second year, how far ahead are you this year than you were this year, last year at this point? There's no difference between this year and last year. I mean, last year was like watching paint dry. We're actually getting some things done out here this year. We're going to go into a little bit of a little different direction, but the abundance of wide receivers you guys have. Abundance? I would say outstanding. Abundance. It's a big word for me. Is that right? No, you were right on the abundance part. Go ahead. I was going to say, I mean, to, to have that many guys in a position, I mean, you got a lot of guys back with the year that they've had in the system as well. Like the quarterbacks, you know, they work hand in hand. How important is that for them to have the knowledge that they have now? I don't know if we've got an abundance of wide receivers. We're really, I'm really excited about our freshman receivers coming in. I think they're going to have a real opportunity here to help us win some football games. But I think with the guys that we have on campus and them coming back for the second year in the system with the techniques and the fundamentals that they, they're now, they're not thinking about, they're just reacting and doing, I think that we have a group that could end up being really good. Um, and you obviously talked a lot about the second year of this offense is when it really takes off. You kind of mentioned that you're not watching paint dry anymore. Where are you guys at? I mean, you guys feel like you've pushed forward quite a bit compared to You like know, I've, I've asked a couple of the coaches that have been with me throughout uh, uh, all the places that I've been, and everybody feels that we are either on our pace or a little bit ahead of pace from uh, what we're used to with this system.